Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. People underestimate Silver's true potential. They don't really understand its true value and the true nature of where prices can go. This video is going to be talking about the lies, how people sweep silver under the rug and why they do it. Also exposing silver's benefits and its advantage it has even compared to gold. So hopefully by the end of this video, you have a better understanding, a more clear sight on why you should be investing into this precious metal and why it's so important for your portfolio. So before we start, make sure to smash that like button. Let's see if this video can get 350 likes 350 likes also you want to be subscribed because i do post daily videos usually two to three videos per day i'm also going to start posting on my second channel again link in the description silver slayer 2 it's going to be more of uh coming from the financial side of things the the corrupt financial system more with monetary uh topics this channel is specifically for precious metals they're both intertwined and they're both just as important so i highly recommend subscribing to that channel as well with that said let's jump into it so silver is undervalued and it has been for a very 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 long time but recently in the last century something happened which drastically uh, devalued it and I say devalued because it, it, it when you're looking to this extent it really is back in the day in biblical ancient times you know back in in you know ancient Egypt times silver was basically as valuable as gold it was two and a half part silver equals one part gold the ratio was two and a half to one silver was only or gold was only twice as much as silver and this is because silver was magical it could purify their water the way that silver responded with different elements they saw it as magic so silver was extremely valuable to them and over time the ratio became 8 to 1 16 to 1 and this was specifically because or they, they based this off of how much or how how much silver came out of the ground compared to gold right so 16 to 1 and they, that ratio stood for a while but in the 30s in the 1930s while FDR was president he changed the gold to silver ratio from 16 to 1 to 75 to 1 and no I'm not making this up this is real this is a this is a real situation that happened gold was basically overvalued and silver got devalued and it never caught up since then there's been a couple instances but this is when markets were were extremely uh corrupt so when i'm talking about silver being devalued this is a literal this is from a literal sense this isn't just oh over time people just like gold more no this was manipulation this was silver manipulation. This is rigged silver pricing, and people are pulling a lot of strings behind the scenes to devalue not only silver, but gold as well. Now, why is that, Silver Slayer? Well, let me tell you why. Money is something that cannot be created nor destroyed. Back in the day, our money was backed by gold and silver, you know, so our fiat dollars had actual value because our money was backed by something that had actual value. Nowadays, our money isn't backed by gold and silver anymore. We got rid of the gold standard. So our money is basically as worth as much as people think it is. Let me explain that to you. If people have faith in the dollar and countries, other countries have faith in the dollar, in, in U.S. dollars, that holds the dollar up, right? It holds the dollar up. When people lose faith in the dollar, that can cause it crashing, especially with something called hyperinflation not only that but all these other countries due to this pandemic are losing faith in the US dollar and they're opting out as the as the primary currency so this is something that is more important and more uh, what's the word uh, I guess 
severe than I think people want to admit. If the U.S. dollar loses faith, which it's, it quickly is because the massive amounts of debt we're in. If you go to usdebtclock.org, it shows we're $25 trillion in debt. What that means is we've been oversaturating, overpopulating the, the economy with money flooding, printing all these, all, all these worthless pieces of paper into the system. And what that is in return doing, not only pushing precious metals prices higher, but also pushing us in debt further. It's hyperinflation. Hyperinflation. Massive, massive inflation rates, which is only hurting the economy more. But that's their solution to get us out of debt. That's their solution to hold up the economy. That's like trying to pay off a credit card with another credit card with another credit card. It doesn't work. Eventually, you're going to have to pay off that credit card with something that has real value, right? Or you're going to have to to face the consequences. And it's looking like we're going to have to face the consequences sooner or later, right? The usdebtclock.org, that $25 trillion isn't going down and we're not paying off that debt. It's rapidly going up. There's no way we can fix this problem. And that's why I don't say gold and silver is a solution there is no solution we're too deep in the hole to dig ourselves out there is no solution but there is an alternative and that is precious metals it's the only way to preserve your money as the world burns as our financial system crashes what what if i was to tell what if i was to tell you what if i was to tell you our financial system was designed to fail Name one fiat currency based system that's ever worked in the in the beginning of man. Nothing. Nothing. No no fiat based system has worked. It can't work. It's designed to fail. Think about it. Inflation. How how is this how would it how would is the only the only way this could have worked would be using the gold and silver standard, but it's not like that can fix the problem now because we've created such a gap of debt. It just wouldn't, it it just couldn't fix it. It, It's unfixable. If we would have stayed with the gold and silver standard, I'm sure we could have adjusted and adapted to, 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 you know, current times, but it's not possible nowadays. So people transfer their money out of fiat currency and put them into gold and silver. But you got to remember the dollar, like I was explaining, the dollar is based off of faith. So if people lose faith or start putting their money into gold and silver, that's a direct threat to the U.S. dollar. Now do you see why banks and governments try to downplay silver, try to say silver's a bad investment? Because it's a threat to the dollar. And they realize if people are investing in the stock markets, that's pegged to U.S. dollars. So yes, they're going to push stock markets, invest in the stocks, right? Invest in the real estate. But gold and silver they don't like because it goes against the grain it's decentralized just like bitcoin as well jp morgan don't buy bitcoin bitcoin's a scam when jp morgan behind the scenes buys millions of dollars in bitcoin right afterwards and we caught them because bitcoin bitcoin everything stored on a public database see jp morgan and banks like this they have been sketchy in and doing illegal activity for Years and years and years, probably decades. They got caught. It's called spoofing. It's placing a false buy order on these exchanges, canceling the order before it goes through on the exchange, in return tricking people to think that all this all this silver is being bought up, trying to place fake value on these exchanges. Now they got caught. Three of their employees actually got arrested. It's a punishable crime now. And if three of their employees got caught and they they were they admitted to doing it for 10 20 years think about how many people are doing it that aren't getting caught so silver prices are to some extent in a bubble and they are to some extent rigged in return precious metals are manipulated right it's always people that have to throw on their tinfoil hat to say precious metals are it's manipulated it's in a bubble but there's there's actual evidence that it's happening and i am curious to what extent to what extent are the prices manipulated? For example, what would gold and silver's natural price be if it's simply played by the rules, played by supply and demand? 
right? Because gold and silver, since it has intrinsic value, a big majority of its price comes from how many people are buying it, how much silver is coming out of the ground or the production sense of it, you know, the supply, and, and how many people want it. We know that silver demand is only going to keep rising in the near future from 5G technology, from electric vehicles, from, uh, you know, solar energy with the green revolution, especially with Joe Biden, with all these new stackers, these new investors, these new eyes, this, this new flood, uh, sense of money coming into especially the silver market, which is so small. So it's only going to make the price shift higher. But nowadays, there's a word that has been coming, entering the silver market or the precious metals market that shouldn't be in here. And that word is speculation. Speculation should only be on the U.S. dollar because, remember, I said it's how much people think the dollar is worth. It is worth that speculation. The only other time speculation has played a key role, been a key factor in something rising to extreme lengths is Bitcoin. The Bitcoin boom was literally based off of speculation to the highest degree. People thought Bitcoin was expensive, was valuable, and it shot it up even though Bitcoin had no real use. And that's why it crashed as well. People lost faith in it and it crashed. Now you see Bitcoin starting to rise again. And this is because of what's happening in the economy and the speculative interest behind the scenes from the investors pushing the price upwards. So you want to be careful with this speculation word in the precious metals markets because that means not only is it running off of its true nature, but there's another player in the game which can influence prices, whether that's a, whether that's a rumor, whether it's a blatant lie, whether it's you know, manipulation. There's so many things that can be hurting silver prices as well as helping them. I would rather silver's price rise naturally. I don't want it to be uh, bumped up because someone's doing something shady behind the scenes and it's never going to be it's never going to be uh, uh it's never going to be gone for, you know there's there's always going to be someone pulling strings behind the scenes especially the ones that have money see if you're a slave it, it, they try to it's a power move if you are in debt you are a slave to the system gold and silver is the only way to get out of that so i'm not trying to say that you don't want to stack fiat currency because it is the most liquid asset you need fiat currency actually i mentioned before you even start investing into precious metals you need to have fiat currency stacked because if you don't then the first sign of your car breaking down the first time you're short on rent or an emergency you know a medical bill comes up you're going to have to sell your gold and silver at a loss because the coins haven't had enough time to appreciate and then after you sell your silver you're going to have to go buy more so you need to have a good amount of money stacked in the bank before you start investing in the precious metals. And that will, also, that, that will also teach you how to be patient and how to realize and understand and acknowledge the true value of a dollar. Because that is something that, that silver stacking will, will teach you, whether you like it or not, is the real value of a dollar. Also, how to separate your wants versus needs. And also understanding that just because you can buy something doesn't mean you can afford to buy it. I hope this video helped you. If you thought this video was educational, informational, or at least just entertaining, make sure to smash that like button. We have a 350 like goal on this video. Smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm doing a 30,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you want to enter, check out the video I posted the other day. Saying, uh, I think it's titled, I'm giving away my silver. You definitely want to enter that. There's also another giveaway in that video as well in the description from the Silver Forum. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.